Okay, so welcome to this week's Freedom Hustles podcast. This is episode 20. Um, we had a bit of a break over the Christmas New Year period. I hope you've had, uh, under the circumstances, a good Christmas and New Year as best as you can. Um, I'm Andy Lehman from Freedom Skills Academy and I am with... Uh, hey, yes. Hello, um, John Banks over at signingcommand.com. Hello, so, John. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right, yeah. So I guess episode 20, a little bit of a sort of mini, mini landmark. Um, we didn't really have a plan for this, did we really? We just sort of started it. We didn't really sort of have any, you know, targets or, you know, we just thought we'd see how it goes. Um, quite enjoying it actually. But yeah, no, weird, weird festive season, obviously with everything going on yeah. um, in the world and, and not only just the UK, but although we seem to be hit pretty hard. but So, yeah, very strange, very quiet. Um, me and the wife were just saying, actually, the other day that it felt like just a normal sort of Sunday dinner, <laughs> Christmas yeah. Day. Um, you know, obviously the kids were still buzzing because of gifts and stuff, but it was very strange not being able to see anybody. But um, hopefully, hopefully the last one like that. Yeah, well, our Christmas wasn't so bad. Um it's kind of different. It's, we often like different, but because of, um, for those who don't know, if anybody's watching from outside the UK, we went into specific restrictions again. Um, we're actually now back in further lockdown. But around Christmas, I think we were going to go into tier four, I think it was. Um, and I think Christmas Day was basically like one of our last days we could actually travel. So we actually jumped in the car and went to the uh, seaside where a couple of our friends were walking their dog so we are social distancing but we um we went and had a bit of a bit of a bit of fresh air because it was gonna be the last time oh, we'd we get yeah. out that way um yeah. for quite a while so went to Mablethorpe, had yeah. a walk down the beach um but as you say strange times so yeah but, you sort of take you sort of take things for granted i think don't you and then you know went yeah. things like this you know. but we're now um starting um 2021 so hopefully now this will be um a better year I mean, it's not starting brilliantly here in the uk at the moment worse than the summer but mm. vaccines are on the horizon um new technologies so hopefully yeah. by the end of uh, 2021 life will be a lot different but it certainly hopefully will be for a lot of people um you know because uh, there's a lot of people moving online aren't they a lot of people well are, that's i guess the kind of the, the, yeah i mean the i guess that's sort of the main sort of subject matter of this whole podcast really is yeah. the, you know is the sort of stuff that we talk about about you know what you and i do um in, in terms of you know what we do in terms of income from the online sort of perspective and and you know that's the whole reason why we started this podcast to kind of you know ho hopefully that you know a couple of people and can can sort of take some ideas from some of the episodes and so I guess this one really, episode 20, we're just going to have a little look back over some of the stuff we've talked about over the last year. And, you know, maybe maybe just some, you know, little glimpses into kind of what our plans are for 2021. So, I mean, I, I, I'll start off. I mean, like, you know, we, we I think between us both, we, we did do a fair bit of sort of client-based sort of freelance work. Um, which is, is the sort of traditional way of working, i.e. you sort of trade time for money, um, which, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but, but, you know, it was from the comfort of our own homes. Usually there wasn't that much of a time scale. It was a very, very broad time scale. Certainly some of the projects I worked on, um, a lot of the websites that I'd built, they were very kind of flexible. Um, you weren't really pressured into, you know, delivering it at lunchtime or, you know, having a deadline as such. Obviously, there was one, but, you know, you could easily work around it as long as you had a good system in place, which, again, we've talked about before. So, I mean, that was one aspect. And, and I know we've talked about that quite a bit, was the ability to kind of sort of find work if you like in the online space wasn't it <clears throat> definitely i mean it's um we're very fortunate to be in the time that we are because none of us would have survived really if it was the spanish flu time 
you know, but now fortunately we've got um, an abundance of electricity, got abundance of tools and technology that we can utilize from home. You know, yeah. school, schools are teaching through Zoom sort of classes That's and everything. Yeah. Um, but even, even energy, even if there was uh, to be a problem with like the power stations, there's a lot of people with solar and wind power technology these days that we're, we're in a far better position. And, and I think 2020 has really opened up the eye, the eyes for people to realize that they actually can work from a laptop, a tablet or a smartphone uh, yeah. from anywhere in the world, which I think is something that I think you and I are both going to be throwing ourselves into more in 2021, trying to make ourselves yeah. a little bit more uh, online and independent. I think yeah. um, I'm very fortunate that I am at the moment because I'm, I work from home and I do client work and I've been working uh, for a, a big company and uh, I've been thoroughly enjoying it. So throughout the whole lockdown and the whole year, I've just been beavering away uh, as yeah. normal, That's fine, yeah. which has been, uh, been great. So I'm um, going back to 2020. Um, so what would you say was your, um, your achievements and your highlights of the year under the circumstances? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, um, well, yeah, like you say, under the circumstances, I mean, I've always done what we do now. I've, I've always kind of done that. So in terms of the general grind, that was always there, you know, so I was always able to, to you know, build websites for clients, do client work. I've, you know, I was always been, a, I've always had a dab hand in things like eBay and Amazon FBA and that sort of thing. So those kind of side businesses, they carried on as normal, really. But one of the ones for me, there was two actually that I'd say were like the highlights. Um, the first lockdown, way back in March, April time, um, I actually started a YouTube channel, which I've never done. I've never really done YouTube. When I say I've never done YouTube, I'm aware of it. I've listed yep. videos on there. I've used it almost as a kind of free hosting platform for videos before. <clears throat> yeah. I've never really spent time and tried to build a sort of dedicated channel. Um, so I'd done that and, um, that was really good. That was really, really good fun. And it's a brand new sort of medium, if you like, for me, I've never really done a lot of on camera work before. Um, certainly I've done a fair bit of over the shoulder training, you know, like recording the desktop type stuff, but yep. not really me on it talking. So I've done a bit of that, learned a fair bit, um, you know, learn about the whole aspects of YouTube. It's essentially a search engine, just like Google in itself. People go there to solve problems. And, you know, you can kind of rank videos accordingly based on keywords and similar to what you try and do with Google. It's a bit actually a bit easier. But anyway, so yeah, that was good. And then the second one was probably uh, getting my first book, well, my first proper paperback book published. Um, using the amazon kdp platform <clears throat> yeah uh, which, which again we've talked about numerous times you know we are in a position now like you just mentioned earlier where we are incredibly lucky i mean anyone you can become an author now um and you know my book's out there it's live and I, it's it's a nice feeling knowing that anyone in the world now can just buy a copy of it and it's great i mean it's by no means a new york bestseller or whatever it is but I was really proud of it. And, um, you know, it's, it's sold a few copies. I've had a few decent reviews and that. So that's pretty much all you can hope for. And that, and that's kind of done now. I've just kind of, I'll just kind of leave that. That's kind of done that, that, that side of my journey or path or whatever you want to do, that's kind of done. So, and by doing that, I've learned a com entirely new skill set and process. So I could replicate that in the future, but you know, yeah. So I'll put I'll put the same question to you then. So what what was um? Well, there's two. Advice? Yeah, there's two main sort of achievements and highlights for me. Secondly, I mean, similar to what you did there with your your book. As you know, I've written and published books on Kindle before, mm. but I've written this year. I've written me first. Um, basically, it's a non-fiction because normally I write fiction, children's stories, or other stuff. Yeah. And uh, this is the first one that's gone into, um, sort of the sort of basically it's a combination of sort of self-help and business. It's a, a, like a surviving life when the odds are stacked against you sort of thing. Um, yeah. So I've got that written. I've just been uh, doing a few tweaks to it now. Um, proofreading has just been finished playing around with that. So that's going to be 
uh, either put on Kindle or sold via my own website or a combination of both. I'm not yet fully decided because yeah. um, there's things in there that I want to link back to certain pages which aren't ready yet. So it's all part of a sort of big plan. Yeah. So that's an achievement because it's actually, I'm quite proud of that book. It's um, something different. My other achievement is that um, for a company that I've been working for, uh, I've done quite a few uh, client jobs, a bit like you over the uh, over the years. So yeah. I've had a long-term job uh, working for a company, an internet marketing company and uh, publishing company. And uh, I came up with the idea for a product for theirs. And um, I basically, I created most of the, the product. Uh, and then when it was launched, it within sort of two or three months, it generated around on 20,000 pounds, which um, is quite good. Um, I think yeah, well. they'll be happy with that. And sort of basically just today, I got a notification that another three and a half, yeah, about another three and a half thousand pounds has come in from that uh, product uh, just today. And that's through email marketing. That's from a, an email that I wrote. I've been sort of writing emails and working on email marketing for a small list for this company. And so that is something that um, quite, uh, yeah, it's quite an achievement for, for me, amazing. basically. Amazing achievement, yeah. Yeah. And I bet yeah. I see things like that as well. You know, every, I think everything that we've just mentioned there, those four things, we've definitely covered over the last 20 episodes in some, some point, somewhere or another, mm. you know, you mentioned it then like email marketing, essentially copywriting, you know, what you've just done, you would have generated the copy or you would have crafted that email together in such a way that generated those sales, you know, whether you, you know, that's it, that's the nuts and bolts of it. And, and, you know, obviously the product creation as well, um, that you've done. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's all there, isn't it? You know, like we've talked about before, the opportunities, there isn't, there's no real excuses anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't cut no. it. You know, when people give, there isn't because there is so much availability and so much potential now, you know, to go into these kind of spaces and, and you know, these sort of arenas and just sort of carve out your own little destiny, isn't it? It is. I mean, it's, there is so much. I mean, we're going to talk more about these in future podcasts. We've talked about quite a few in the past, um, sort of like AdSense. There's, there's so many different types of websites you can have. There's so much that we've learned. And uh, like you say, there's just, there is no excuse. I mean, don't get me wrong. We know that not everybody's going to go online because you're always going to need builders, plasterers, electricians, yeah, yeah, yeah. engineers, nurses, doctors, police. But there's, that's, there's no reason why you can't do a side business. I mean, you you yourself had spoken to um, a woman who was making, well, she was earning more than what I pay out in my mortgage each month writing uh, romance novels, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah. So, I, mean, I mean, that anybody mm. could be doing that in their spare time yeah, and exactly. doubling their income yeah. up. I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, I, for those who don't know, I mean, I, I, I am exactly that. I, I my niche my website side in command uh, that's what i do i i work a full-time job i'm an engineer um but i work in the mornings and then you know my kind of side hustles and you know the money the the, the real money should i say is comes in through the sort of ventures that i do you know you know that helps helps with the if, if you know you want the holidays and the, the expensive stuff or if you want you know helps 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 along the way doesn't it you know everyone's i don't think like people if people sort of settle don't they i'm not not so money isn't it's definitely not everything of course it isn't you know but people you can't complain if you're not prepared to sort of put in the effort do you know what i mean yeah yeah I think, it's yeah. Uh, i mean Life is expensive at the moment, as you know, and there's, there's, yeah, there's a lot of people, unfortunately, even they're losing their jobs as well. But um, exactly. as you say, yeah. there's, there is plenty of ways out there to make some extra income to make your life a bit easier. And um, yeah. yeah, and it, 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 I get frustrated when I hear, I see people moaning and groaning that there's nothing. And I think I see so many different yeah. things that they could be doing. Yeah. But yeah. as the saying goes, we don't know what we don't know. Yeah, so I agree. We, but that's why, again, some of the episodes that we've talked about on this thing, I don't want to keep going on about it, but there are some, certainly in the earlier days. I think one of them we talked about was how to raise a 500 pound seed fund. That could be all people need. 
right? We're not talking about millionaire status here. You know, me and you are just a couple of guys that like to earn a few quid on the internet, right? Ideally, a bit more. Sometimes we will. Who knows? But all we're talking about, you know, these people that, like I was saying about the 500 pound seed fund, that can be done probably just by selling stuff in your house. You know, uh-huh. eBay, real basic stuff. We talked about Kindle then. You know, you could write one book and make that 500 quid back. You know, and then or, it just carries on. It just grows and grows and grows. Yeah, or there's um, there's other ways. I mean, like, uh, you know, before Christmas, like you said, both of us were doing our client work. There was one period where I was uh, just using my fingertips writing a few articles and I was making more than that 500 pound seed money. Just, yeah. uh, just writing, you know, on my laptop in the office, listening to music, a cup of tea, a um, yeah. couple of hours. And yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it was just uh, some extra seed money, which is you know, ridiculously easy to do, really. Cause, um, and like you say, that can go on to other things. You can invest that on other stuff. Mm. So. Definitely. Um, so, yeah, so, I mean, it's been an interesting year. We've had a, uh, a couple of sort of highlights. You've done your, your book and your... Um, mm. Uh, I've done my book. So we've, uh, what's the, have you got any sort of plans for 2021? What's your approach next? Yeah, we- definitely. I mean, my plans, I mean, you and I chat quite a lot about this sort of stuff, but certainly try to, I'm not knocking client work. I don't, don't get me wrong. It's great when it's there. It's great. And it, and mm-hmm. it, it is a good thing and it can be quite a rewarding thing, but, but it is still, very much a trade hours for money, which is, again, I'm not knocking that, but uh, I've also learned that there are far better ways, you know, like you say, with the book, and for example, um, you, you, you write a book once, you write that book once, and you can sell it over and over again. Yeah. You know, it could be 10 times, 100 times, thousands of times, right? Um, so, and for me, it will probably be to aim into more kind of income streams like that. So, <clears throat> you know, creating products essentially. Um, that's probably where I, I mean, even YouTube to a degree, yeah, YouTube channel, they are like little kind of, you know, mini sort of income streams, you know, once they get growing, I mean, mine, mine isn't at that level, but you know, I, we've talked about that before you know that youtube channels can explode and then before you know it you generate a passive income from you know the advertising and whatnot but yes i mean that it'll be it'll be something like that i mean i know we're kind of aligned on this i say yeah i'm i'm pretty much similar focusing on creating um books and products that you'd basically do once uh and then you've got it as an asset and then move on to the next one um, so that's that for me is basically the main thing is going to be focusing on on uh, assets, sort of product assets, which we can sell, uh, and then basically focus more on the email marketing because I mean, I've seen the power of that several times because obviously many years ago when we first got together, um, when we first met online, I was working for an internet marketing company, um, sort of um, you know learning my chops as they say. And I've seen, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of pounds worth going through from email marketing and creating products. And again, I've just seen it again this year. Um, I had an email just before Christmas from from the guy saying, have you done something? Um, have you promoted this recently? Because uh, they started getting sales of one of his books. He's an author. He writes his own books. And uh, I said, yeah, I just stuck it to, uh, wrote an email and stuck it in the email sequence that I was creating. And that hmm. just basically... He, had, he said he had about something like half a dozen sales or something of the book, which kind of took him by surprise because he wasn't doing anything with it. Yeah. Uh, and so it's kind of, you just sort of sit there and you think, you know, this is just so doable for most people. I mean, we've done it. We've had our own email list, but we've never really pushed it, have we? We've focused on lots of other things. And Yeah, exactly. We have. Yeah. I mean, our probably our biggest success back in a few years back was obviously the AdSense sites, which... Mm. It's still a massively popular thing. I mean, I, I was just going to just briefly talk about that because, I mean, that's out of all the statistics on the pod and that, that's by far the most popular episode, which is all about, you know, making money from AdSense sites. And they're, they're great. Don't get me wrong. I mean, there is, a, there is, a, there's a, 
they I've got a bit of a love hate relationship with them. If I'm honest, I mean I, being from a web design background, I like things to look nice, and the whole the whole ethos of the AdSense game is to not make it look nice at all, and just fill it with loads of ads. Yeah. But, <clears throat> You were showing me one this morning, weren't you? That was oh, uh, just chocker yeah. with them. And you know, it, it, but if it makes a few quid and if people like that sort of model, then you know, by all means, go for it. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree. I think, I think plans for twenty twenty one will be something like that. But I don't want to make too much of a plan because of what we've just seen this year and how mm-hmm. crazy the world can literally be flipped upside down. I mean. No one really knows, do they, what's going to happen in the next, you know, few months, few years even. So, yeah. 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 I think well, at the end man. of the day, we've got to try and sort of stick to some form of normality for ourselves, stick to um, yeah. our own sort of uh, have a plan, keep working towards it as normal, because otherwise you're just going to go sort of crazy, not knowing yeah. that it is a very, what was the word they used to use a lot at the beginning? Unprecedented times. Unprecedented um, times. Yeah. I mean, we I'm quite lucky because, uh, you know, any children in our household are in their uh, sort of middle 20s. Yours are yeah. still quite young. So you've got a lot of homeschooling yeah, got... and all that ahead of you, haven't you? Well, I might get my daughter into web design now. <laughs> Start teaching her about the online industry now. Um, it, it's as daft as it may seem, but I honestly believe that the 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 world of, employment in in say 10 years time when they'll be looking will be vastly different to what it is now so mm. okay but you do also remember that um the written word is probably one of the most powerful uh, uh things around and it's, a, it's one of the most what's the yeah, word absolutely. money making businesses around if it isn't from books it's from publishing but the written word has basically changed lives so if you can oh, get into yeah. some sort of online yeah where you're using information, then mm. yeah, you're giving yourself a bit of a chance because the world is changing. Definitely. Okay, well, I think we'll leave it at that for tonight. Okie dokie. Um, so we just sort of wrap up, really. Um, please go back and have a look at some of the other ones if this is your first time here. There's, we go into a bit more detail in the other, in the other podcasts on some mm. actual kind of proven methods that, that sort of work and you know can help you generate a, a sort of side income or you know even even if it's just a small income to help pay some bills um then it will there'll definitely be something there over the previous 20 episodes um so i just want to say thanks very much and hopefully happy new year and um let's hope for a better 2021 globally mm-hmm. um so yeah that's me kind of signing off um john banks over at sideincommand.com and uh, thanks very much and i've been with I'm Andy Lehman over at uh, freedomskillsacademy.com and I just again I'd like to say thank you very much for tuning in for the previous podcast keep coming back for more there'll be lots more stuff we've got to talk about we have um, we have some interesting plans for 2021 which we're working towards but as John said it's a strange old world and on top of that we're going through Brexit as well so on no idea where we're going to be in the summertime (laughs) it could be a great 2021 so on that note have a happy new year and we'll speak to you all again soon Cheers.